Poor old Ernst, he must be feeling rejected. Time for today tonight now. Here's Rosanna. Thanks, Jane. Hello to you and welcome to the program. We'll start tonight with Adelaide's Kid Cage Fighters. It's a form of martial arts regarded as one of the world's most brutal sports. So why are South Aussie children, both boys and girls, some as young as 12 years old, allowed in the ring? As you'll see in a moment, watching them does make you want to cringe and it has child experts in a flap. But if parents are giving their kids the nod and the trainers say it teaches self-defence and discipline, should the rest of us be worried? Here's Francesca Belperio. The idea is to finish the fight. Winning is about power and hurting another person. Most kids do football and soccer and karate and stuff. But not young Blair Martin. But when I grow up, I want to be a UFC fighter. At just 12, Blair's still in primary school. Too young for most things, but old enough to fight. I'm really looking forward to fighting. In October, he'll have his chance, taking to the ring in his debut clash in Tanunda as the youngest mixed martial arts fighter in the country. Yeah, I saw it on TV and it looked like real fun and you'd get really fit off it. <laughs> It's a sport where fists and feet collide, punching, kicking and wrestling. Bloodied bodies, an inevitable consequence. He's got to really turn it on here. That's it. It is all over. You score points by taking people to the ground and staying on top the whole fight. Mixed martial arts or cage fighting has a cult following in the US. And thanks to the televised American Ultimate Fighting Championship, it's gaining momentum across the globe. He's hurt! He's hurt! He's got a smile on his face. My favourite UFC fighter is Dan Hardy. Oi, oi! He's the only UFC fighter in, um, in the UFC with a red mohawk. With a red mohawk like yours? Yeah. Right here in Oz, women and kids like Blair are joining the pros and taking up the fight. It's a lot of fun. I've never, I've never get hurt. I've never been, I've never had a bruise or anything like that. I've become real fitter. If they're being taught to fight and solve problems in an aggressive way, that will filter into other areas of their life. This might turn into a deadly fight, so... It's copycat scenes like this that have medical experts, including child psychologist Rita Princey, worried. There he is! He got some weird naked shock! <laughs> See his face? The risk of being arms being broken, legs being broken, or, or internal damage, which may not be, be able to be seen. A bit dangerous, but... Like, you get, I get hurt more in soccer. You're well protected when you fight. But Rita insists sports like this desensitise our young to violence, contributing to a generation of unruly lads and ladettes. It can glamorise it by watching it, and there's a lot of research that shows that when children are exposed to violent media, whether it's UFC or any other type of violent media, that that actually increases their behaviour and they then start to resolve things in a more aggressive way. I'm not going to lie, it looks violent. You know, it, it, to, to the untrained person, it would look quite brutal and quite violent. And it's not until you walk into a gym um, and meet the people within the gym and train, start to train MMA that you'll realise that it's not all about violence. That nice. Blair's trainer Scott Dempster has been involved in MMA for almost 10 years. He defends the sport and says it teaches kids self-development, discipline and self-defence. You get to push yourself past the point where most people would want to stop, where, where, where your brain's telling you, stop, you know, because you, you, you can't breathe, you're tired, um, those sorts of things. And then you learn techniques how to deal with that and, and it relays and portrays into, into life, it really does. Some people might call that reckless or dangerous. Yeah, it's because I haven't trained. Blair trains four times a week, his parents forking out more than $5,000 a year. Big effort in, let's go. Today's session, it's in the cage. Nice. Nice. Blair and older brother Callum, just 13 himself, wrestling, no holds barred. 
So, Brian, watching the boys fighting in the ring here, does it, does it make you a little nervous? Oh, I get to get a little bit nervous. There's always a chance of accidents and injuries, but as you can see, they've got all their protective equipment on. Dad Brian's proud as punch and says his boys are a great students. What would you say to people who might say it's irresponsible parenting on your behalf to let your boys fight like this? I would say to them that the kids have been doing this for years. They do karate, jiu-jitsu, taekwondo, um, boxing. It's, an, it's not a new thing. And who won that, that bout? Easy. <laughs> I think you got a few kilos, don't you, on your brother? Yeah. In SA, MMA fights are constrained. Instead of a cage, fights take place in a modified boxing ring and there's tougher rules for kids. Once the fight hits the ground, they'll, um, there'll be no striking to the body whatsoever. He'll have larger gloves, he'll have headgear, he'll have shin pads on. Is the aim still to knock out his opponent? Nope. No, no, no. So it's, it's, he's got headgear on, which makes it incredibly difficult to do so. In fact, Scott, Blair and those who train at the gym say they won't fight outside the cage and if they're caught, they're expelled. I'm not going to start a fight with anybody because I've been training like this. My main motivation is, being a father myself, um, is getting him off the couch, getting him off the computer, getting him off Facebook, um, getting him into the gym, bringing back the art of conversation. But Blair's actions will speak louder than words when he comes to the punchline. Soccer doesn't teach you how to defend punches and kicks, and it's just great sport. Well, Francesca Belperio there with both sides of the debate. But let's turn now to the shock on the block as the renovated homes are about to be auctioned off. Forget what the TV judges have to say as Claire Brady reports.